This is the story of Anchor Management. My name is Jimmy Yoder. Follow me on my journey as I explore the oceans and document my adventures through a lens. Welcome aboard. All right, what's happening, Creel? Kind of freaking out right now, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm heading down, sorry, I'm trying to do a bunch of things at once. I am currently heading down to San Diego to pick up my first boat. My first, in my name, my first boat. I literally am speechless. This thing is going to be such a ripper. I'm talking eight feet. Little sabot. That's right, a sabot hole. So I could make it a sailboat. I could make it, I could throw a little outboard on it. I could do whatever I want with this thing. It's going to be insane. So we're heading down to San Diego right now. This is officially Anchor Management 2. I'm so beyond excited right now. I have the cash in my wallet. <laughs> got the straps, got my ratchet straps. Yeah, this thing is going to be ridiculous. Just picked up the key from my brother's truck. We are heading to San Diego. <laughs> All right, Krill. Just got down to uh, San Diego, finalized the transaction. Behind me, a little boat storage area, San Diego Harbor behind me. Um, the new boat is right behind you guys. But, all right, let's just get to it. Here is the new boat, eight foot money size. But uh, yeah, this is the new fishing boat. This thing is going to be rad. Fun little project boat. Already seaworthy, so probably gonna put it in the water either tonight or tomorrow morning. But yeah, I'm so stoked on this. This thing is so rad, but let's get some shots of it. I just made my first Home Depot run for the first repair of Anchor Management 3. Also, this is the name that came with it, Big Rig. In the comments below, let me know if I should keep that name or change it to Anchor Management 3. I may keep Big Rig on the stern and put Anchor Management 3 on the sides of the boat, but um, yeah, so my first project is fiberglassing over these holes. This was, I don't know exactly um, what was mounted here, but uh, yeah, it doesn't go all the way, this one does, goes all the way through, and the other one, I don't know where it goes, so I'm just gonna epoxy over both of those, and um, throw the resin on, sand over it, and then get a couple other spots touched up some of these corners I want to uh, fiberglass over but uh, yeah sand that down and then paint I'm going to throw a whole new gel coat on the whole boat so get this started and yeah looking forward to starting to work on this boat
So we have the boat now on the side of the house. I've uh, been kind of micromanaging some of these little scratches and they're not even chips all the way through, but um, just touching it all up because when I repaint it, after I sand it and everything and repaint it, I want it to all look just money. I want to look, make it look brand new, so might as well clean it up as best as I can right now. Make sure everything's, you know, there's no chips or scratches or anything when I'm painting, so it'll look money. But yeah, some fiberglass repair all around for some of the bigger scratches. And then, yeah, just kind of reinforcing. All of this was resined over, but um, yeah, just kind of clean it up a little bit. This is kind of a before because probably either tomorrow or the next day I'm going to start painting. So it's going to be super, super rad. So here's kind of what I'm thinking. So we've got a top angle of the boat and so there's two pieces of wood that basically clamp together on the main piece of fiberglass down the middle. So I need to put cleats on either side. So what I'm gonna do is put a cleat here, put a cleat here, and I need to make sure, so most cleats, um, kind of top angle view, I don't know how to draw top angle view of the cleat, but basically it bolts just two bolts straight through like that. And the cleats I need, since it's two pieces of wood clamping that main piece, I need is something, so we've got the cleat here, and I need it a, like a base plate basically with the cleat and then four bolts, one on either side. So it's gonna be something like that instead of two straight through, because if I do two straight through, I either have to put it on one piece of wood or the other, whereas this one, it's way more durable and a lot easier to install. So we got that. I'm gonna put a light up here. They make just like a little um, bolt-on light. I'll put on the bow. Then, I'm gonna put two rod holders, maybe three, but two for now, just because if I ever want to put an engine on, I'll be able to do that. So two rod holders spaced out evenly on the stern, right on the transom there. I've got that bench seat, sits right about here, but it's super, super low. So I'm gonna try and raise that up. Um, and that's just bolted on, on either side. So if I can get a piece of wood, just a wood leg on either side, lift it up and then fiberglass that in. Also, um, there's like a little, thing that kind of looks like this up here. Um, I'm gonna fiberglass the bottom, kind of in the spots where kind of the feet, my feet will go you know, where I'll set my Yeti. I'm gonna set my Yeti up on the bow here. Um, but yeah, just to get equal weight. So if I'm like paddling it from the back, you know, I'll have equal weight up front. Um, but I'm gonna reinforce the fiberglass ground up there and then probably back here somewhere, probably reinforced like this in this area of fiberglass. So that's kind of the game plan. I also think after some consideration, we're going to stick with the name Big Rig. 
So these are the plans. And that's what we've got. So right now I'm gonna go to West Marine, look for the cleats, um, look for the bow light, and see if they have clamp on rod holders. And I think I'm gonna go clamp on rod holders for now. Also, I think I'm gonna reinforce the transom fiberglass, um, but I won't do that quite yet. I'm gonna reinforce that so I can throw a little electric motor on down the road if I want. So we're out here with the big rig. Um, got a couple more fiberglass repairs done. I know it's not great right now, but I was kind of just in a rush to get some fiberglass on there, let it dry, and then I'm gonna sand it all down so I can put fresh gel coat on, but yeah, there's like little imperfections and stuff, but again, it doesn't need to be perfect right now because I'm painting the whole thing. It'd be a lot different if I was painting one specific area, but I'm gonna sand it down all nice and then yeah, get some fresh gel coat on. And I think I have a color picked out, but not 100%, but like 90. So it's gonna be pretty sick. I'm gonna do a reveal on the color, but I think that's gonna wrap up this video right now. Um, the next video is gonna get this all sanded up already. I'm gonna put it on um, some saw horses and uh, yeah, get it sanded, get everything looking nice so I can prep it for paint. I'm also gonna get um, all the wood cleaned up, some of the bolts replaced. Uh, yeah, just touch it up a bit. I wanna get it nice and perfect before I get it in the water. So it's probably not gonna see you water for at least a week, maybe longer. So yeah, that's the first couple projects done and stay tuned super super excited to share everything with you and thanks for watching